How's it going guys? Thought I would take you for a wee trip. We're going to head to Montrose Regional Airport in Colorado and let's let's just have a few scattered clouds shall we? And maybe we could just go for a cruise. We're going to head over this way. 12 minute flight. And yeah. Take off early morning, shall we? See how that looks. So I'm using the Honeycomb Alpha yoke with the Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant which has lights on here. You've got um, you know, oil pressure lights, parking brake lights, all the rest of it. Landing gear up and down with um, trim wheel and flaps along with Autopilot controls here and avionics and lights over this side. Kilo Mike Tango Juliet Traffic Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra taking off runway tree one departure to the west. I'm also using a transducer butt kicker under my seat. You might be able to hear the vibrations uh, so I can actually feel the engine of the aircraft. And I would normally be flying virtual reality using this but for this flight I'm just going to fly on the flat screen just to get an idea of how things are looking on the monitor what's that noise? that doesn't sound good parking brake so what's going on with that? Okay, all right. So let's let's start with um, getting some ignition happening here. Oh, why have we put some of the fuel mixture up? Why is that not working? Oh, let's turn those off. Let's do a cold reset. I've got nothing here. I've got a dead engine. Why have I got a dead engine? It's very bizarre. Toss system test. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what's happening here. Hmm. What is happening? Uh, fuel pump. I've got plenty of fuel happening here. Why is it not igniting? Got the flaps going down. It's, it's all good. Um, I don't know why they won't start. That's not, that's not good, is it? It's really not good. But that should be ignition. That should be starting the engine. But for some reason, it is not. Um. Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra taking off runway tree one west departure. Okay, well, we've got the um, engines going again. Not sure what the story was there. Anyway, they're going now. And uh, we've got a bit of blue sky up there. 
so it should be looking pretty good. So, flaps, let's set those to take off. We've got plenty of fuel, and I think we are we're good for good to go. Rudders are good. Let's get some throttle happening here, shall we? Parking brake off. And we're away. Full throttle. back up now. Just 
clean it. You can see. Okay, let's slow right down here because I feel like I can kind of get a sense of which way that's running.
we've made it. Didn't die, so that's the main thing. <laughs> few folks over by the terminal here. Probably not crash into one of these cars, that wouldn't be ideal. We'll just park in the car park here. Oh, where are you going buddy? Okay, well there we go, we did it. Mission successful. Avionics off. We've made it. Mission accomplished. Now I'm going to try one in VR and um, we'll see the difference. Okay, that works. Okay, so here we are in virtual reality. So I'm in the cockpit, I can see everything much clearer. Everything is looking good. And anywhere I look, I can see. So let's head over this way this time. And we're going to throttle up and we're going to go. Break off. Okay. Going. All right, and rotate. Oh yeah, baby. We're up. Let's get that landing gear. Where is landing gear? There it is. Landing gears up, flaps up. Woo, yeah. Look at that view. Okay, we're going to take a wee tour this time over this way. clouds I think. Let's do it. So yeah the level of immersion is 10 times looking at a monitor actually being inside the cockpit and what you guys can't see is my whole body is feeling the vibrations underneath my seat of this engine and I've got it configured so that every single different type of vibration um, has a different level of intensity so right now it's just a gentle sort of a shaking vibration makes me feel like I'm in a running engine I'm sitting on top of a running engine but um, I can I've got it set so that when I actually touch down and the wheels hit the ground there's a big thud um, you really feel like you've touched down it's really quite something else it's made the uh, immersion factor go way up it's really incredible if you guys ever want to get a butt kicker gamer 2 highly recommend it 
Um, I've got the sensitivity turned down because it can go way up, but your seat may not survive. And there's only so much shaking that uh, you can take before it starts to hurt. Oh, so we're getting pretty high now. 12,000 feet here. And we're going over some pretty, pretty tall mountains here. Some valleys down there. Let's have a look. Let's just feather this back a bit. Okay, got 130 knots on the board here. It's getting a bit choppy up here. Not quite above the first cloud layer. So that's Crawford down there, wherever that is. But apparently we're in Colorado right now. I mean, you could go anywhere in the world in this game, and it's always going to be amazing. Look at that. Look at those valleys. That's incredible. I want to drive over here. This is, this is awesome. You really wouldn't want to fall in there, would you? get an outside look here guys okay so we've got these great big canyons here happy canyon aero ranch look at this yeah that's incredible it's got a nice fresh topping of snow I go here, I might end up um, crashing into the side of a mountain and reenacting alive. That wouldn't be good. Would Can't really eat myself. Be the only person here. All right, let's go right in the valley here, guys. We're going to go down. Let's, let's push down on this yoke and get in here. Just watch that wing there, buddy. Yep, gotcha. We'll be right, we'll be right. Whoa, we're right in the valley here. <laughs> oh, let's get some, let's get some power because we're going to have to pull out of here. Crank it. Crank it. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, crap. And let's pull up out of here. <laughs> get dodgy. Oh, this is awesome. This was a um, good recommendation by Dan. Gave me a good shout out on this one. This is a good place to fly. It's incredible. Alright, let's pull up. Let's get out of here. Over this ridge, walkway there down to the bottom. Okay, let's get over this ridge here, and we're going to circle back around to Happy Canyon Aero. Uh oh, game just had a wee pause there, but we're okay. We're only just clearing the top of that mountain there. There's a wee ranch there. It's not a landing strip though, is it? Looks a bit short for me. Let's just put this trim down. Yeah. 
pretty rugged terrain around here. I mean, there's not really many houses that I can see. It's maybe the odd one here and there, but it's pretty sparse. So he can see it. nicest weather but it's absolutely still just so beautiful to be in this simulation it's amazing absolutely amazing thirteen kilometers to go to Montrose I think we'll come back into Montrose, shall we? Then we will have done a full loop. These um, Logitech G Pro X headphones are also very... Um, they have excellent sound quality. I highly recommend these two guys. If you're thinking of doing any sort of voice work, microphones got a really clear sound. Um, nice big comfortable ear cups that easily fit over the um, your headset of choice. Currently I'm using a Rift S but um, my main headset the Quest 2 is currently um, dead needs to go back to the shop and a replacement is ordered but it hasn't arrived but anyway uh, um, headphones are plenty big they can pump out some serious sound so yeah I'm, I'm really spoiled with what I've got here I love it right we're coming over the houses here like a school or maybe a, some sort of rugby field so obviously this is where uh, civilization is there's a golf course down there see the sand dunes let's just crank up a little bit more of this prop so we are coming in Runway right. We're maintaining around 100 knots here. Need to get the landing gear down. Oh, big thump on the seat. Oh, gear's locked in. Should be three green lights on the Bravo throttle quadrant. Obviously, being in the headset, you don't get to see any of that. But um, you know, I can clearly see what's going on in my virtual care uh, cockpit right here. I know, I'm just going to increase a little bit here because we're getting a bit slow here. Okay, yeah, we're coming in. This looks like an industrial part there. Can just touch these rudders a little bit. Slow right down. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. You're okay, you're okay. Don't sink, don't sink. Coming in here. Land on these back wheels. Should feel a thump on the seat. Oh, there we go. Oh, not the best landing. But we're down. Stop. Let's put the 
brakes on, shall we? Beautiful. Made it handbrake on. Okay. Engine off. We're done. Avionics off. Let's just finish the mission. We did it. What a game. Definitely virtual reality is the way to go, guys. It's um, it's really great having it on the monitor, but being in the headset, feeling like you're actually in the cockpit, free to look around anywhere you like. I can even look right around behind me, and I can see the passengers sitting in the back there. I think I've lost a few of them, because... There should be someone, there should be people there, but they're, they're gone. Might have fallen out in that valley. Anyway, that is Montrose, Colorado. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.